God is my comforter. Funke Akindele burst out on marital crisis and attack from DigiSQ's baby mama, Mela. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified or post hot duty news updates, please click on the notification bell. God is my comforter. Funke Akindele burst out. After having kept mom on the ongoing drama and verbal attacks from her husband's baby mama, Mela, actress Funke Akindele has now shared an emotional viral TikTok video on her Instagram page. The video had the lady singing the Yoruba version of the Vara Komama song with the lyrics, I have a father that knows my worth. He doesn't joke with me at all. He's my comforter in all situations. He's dependable. He's reliable. The one who creates and doesn't forget. For the past few days, Nollywood actress and content creator Funke Akindele has been in the news over her baby's mama, over her husband's loggerhead with his baby mama, Bella, and their son, Benito. We also reported that Funke Akindele's marriage to Juju's Skills was facing some challenges and the couple had a heated argument where the actress asked her husband to leave her house. Funke Akindele and her husband, Juju Skills, debunked the rumors that the marriage was passing through her time as they took to social media to express love for each other. Notwithstanding, Mela, the baby mama of Juju Skills, claimed that there were issues in the union of Funke and her husband, adding that a couple are living on a happy marriage pretense. Sincerely, all this baby mama issue, Kai. All this maybe baby mama issue. Wallahi, I don't have, you know, it is, it is very, look, women who stand by men who are family, you know, from everything going on, I don't even know how to put my thoughts together. Let me just try. From everything going on, you see, eh, people or women who actually don't want to get married to people who have children, it might not be because they don't have, they don't know how to take care of children. It might not be because they will not be able to show their children love. It might be tomorrow something might come up from the woman who owns the baby, especially if she's very much alive. I'm telling you, something might just come up, Sha, before you know it, one problem to another. And you that you are trying to hide yourself. This one is a, a an actress matter. Do you know that if this ma if once you somebody has a baby mama, you bring it up to the social media, it is completely finished. You that you're trying to hide yourself before you know they're dragging you up and down on social media. So I think this is one of the reasons I'm just saying that makes women to say no. They rather stay with a single man than stay with one who has children. The same thing with the men. You understand? The same thing with the men themselves. Okay, God will surely uphold you and your home. There is no better phrases in any marriage. Therefore, take yours of social media and seed your lips. No comments, no matter how pained you are. God bless you, phone care. I'm telling you, this is like one of the advice. Like, I totally agree with her. But it is going to be painful. It is going to be painful when you are dragged, when you are caught. Everything is done to get to her. That is just it. Everything is done to get to her. And I don't understand why. This is the most sincere and apt advice anyone can ever offer you. Take it and, and experience happy thereafter. Hmm. All these homebreakers, God to punish you all. You know that this man is married and you still put it. If the man is senseless, you too, you follow put. Just a matter of time, God will perfect all that concerns you. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Truly, there is no perfect marriage anywhere. And there is no marriage without crisis, but, you know, ah, sincerely, <laughs> all those women that go into marriages with, you know, baggage, baggage from, let's say, the man has children, or men that go into marriage with baggage, and the husband is still alive, I mean, and their, you know, father or parents of a baby, maybe the mother or the father of the baby is still alive, but that is the baggage. That baggage is a baggage that is too huge that some women will say, no, I cannot take I cannot. <laughs> okay. Mela should go and sit down and not destroy her. Why Nigerians love to cover the stroke? Feed to a king in a rude home and our money, she gets widow into her head. Have you been living with them in the house? Eh? I don't I don't like when people come online and just, you know, cast stones like this. Have you lived with the man? Have the man himself called you? You don't need to jump into conclusions like this. 
Moreover, these people it is their life. Mm. Nigerian will like drinking prastamol on another man's headache. If you cannot put them in prayers, don't add more to their problems. There is no perfect marriage. We're all working towards perfection. This advice is actually very beautiful. Mela, stay clear. If you are good enough, then Funke, he would have married you. Stop putting asunder. There is no perfect marriage. They will settle if only prognosis and naysayers will permit them. Stop being a monitoring spirit too. The marriage. I'm telling you, stop being a monitoring spirit in the marriage. <sighs> it happens like that at the point in marriages, but prayers is the best solution, my dear. Almighty God will uphold your marriage and you shall enjoy the peace of mind with your life and all yours. Amen to that prayer. Amen to that prayer. The thing is, in marriage, the way men even crave for, you know, peace, the main men crave for sanity, the main, the way things, the things we pray for, women also pray for it as well peace in marriage no baby drama wahala no baby drama uh, problem even if you have baby drama you know there's just peace and quiet the same way men crave these things women does also women does as well mela get away from another woman's husband how did you end up in bed with a fellow woman's husband where did you forget your conscience and manners you know get shame i the shame for you uh, sincerely, just like I would like to say that this matter no concern us, it's not of our business. Like somebody like me, say anything, people's life, celebrity life, even a human being's life. I don't like if it doesn't concern me so much. It doesn't, and it's not about selling that person's market. That is helping that person to, you know, ah, except when you're saying, ah, this person is, is a very nice man. No? Anything apart from that, I don't like putting him out. Why? Because at the end of the day, <laughs> You know, everybody, if you're going to do the opposite, that is, demarket someone, make someone feel bad, to, or, I mean, make um, someone look back. The thing is, the way you do it for others, even the same people you do, you discuss others with, will finally discuss you with others. And if you hear of it, it is not going to be funny at all. Melo, what do you call your name? You want everybody to be like her without a steady and stable home. Hence, likes to throw stone at a happy home. Jealousy and envy is what is worrying her. So, uh, a piece of advice for phone care. They're advising you to, you know, try and take your family, the problems of social media, no matter how pained you are, don't reply. The thing is, the joy of her will be seeing you reply or trying to justify yourself. No need to explain yourself to food. There's one beautiful you know a uh, video that is good or audio that's going viral you know whatever you heard about me you know you can publish it you can add it you can do whatever you like with it but you don't tell me you know i don't have time to explain myself to fools sincerely let i just play that card and you know watch people who are actually wanting to see her crash <laughs> watch them feel pained okay on this note we have come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come here next time enjoy the rest of the day